Hey, what's up, people? This is Keon Hill with Key Flavors, and I'd like to welcome you to this episode of Masters in the Making. Now, before we get into actually making today's dish, we gotta go three days back in time. So a couple things we're gonna need from the garden. We're gonna need some mired mount port. We're gonna need some thick leaf thyme. thyme, some rosemary, some hot peppers, and some scallions, which uh, I know they call it green onions over here, but some scallions, some shallot. We're also gonna go on with this uh this nice green pepper right here i really love the flavor of this with this uh seasoning i've made it before garlic red onions the secret ingredient that really brings all of this together for me is uh some duck fat the flavor is unbeatable so i'm going to start by going in with my duck fat sesame oil the tamari with the married mom port i like to peel off the rosemary Right, like that. I'm gonna go on with two garlic cloves. All right, some red onions, five spice in there. Okay, we're going in with the shallot, peppers. We're going with two thick leaf thyme, the pepper. Of course, we're gonna go on with the Maggie. Just a little bit of salt. For this, we're gonna use some Cornish hen. Let's cut up this, this lemon, and we're gonna squeeze this everywhere. Then, of course, salt. We're gonna go on with our water. All right, just mix it, wash it nice and good. You know some I don't like bathe the skin? You gotta make sure that mine bead. We're gonna bring this up. We're gonna dry it. Let's turn this around, let's turn them both around. We'll inject in the breast first, we'll get the thighs, and then we'll get just a little bit in the back, okay? We'll go in right here. We'll add that in there. That's good on that side. Okay, so that's in there. Now, what you can see, what I did here with the first one is that I vacuum sealed it. And the reason being is that I don't want any of the marinade or anything to get on the outside, all right, to seep out. We want to keep everything locked in nice and tight so that when we're ready to fry, we haven't lost any flavor at all. Okay, so another project we had to get done was we infused some garlic and ginger in some oil, all right? So this is a garlic ginger oil. Now, sometimes when I make fried rice, I just like the flavor there, and I don't necessarily want to bite into ginger. I don't want to necessarily bite into garlic. I just want the nice, pure flavor of it. So I'm going to cook the rice in the oil itself, and I'll still get that pure flavor from just the oil. We're going to strain this. So we'll just transfer all of that in there. And man, can you, you can really, really smell the garlic, you can smell the ginger is, this is potent. This is gonna be good, okay? Okay, so this is probably one of my, I would say top three things to make throughout this entire series. This right here is saril, and I like saril ginger. That's number one for me. This right here with the saril, that's it. That's what you want. We're gonna go on with everything. I'm gonna put all of this cinnamon in there. We're gonna put in some cloves. I'm just gonna go in with about three quarters of this to start. Now I'm gonna taste it and see if I need to add some more. Now I'm going over all this ginger. And this is good because 
it lines up perfect with the chicken. This is one of those things that gets better over time. So we're gonna grate everything in and then we're gonna jar it up and then we'll come back to it when we're ready to eat. We're gonna need our whole chicken. We're gonna need some butter sticks. We got some tomatoes from the garden. We got some fresh peaches. We got some peppers, some onions. We got a nutmeg, some cane sugar. We got our riri pepper, of course. Some garlic, green seasoning. We're gonna take the zest of this orange. We got some nice uh, fresh peppermint leaves. Our garlic oil, of course, we got the rice. We got our sorrel. Now, before we get into making our fried rice, I wanna do a little something that's unconventional with the sorrel. All right, so now let's go ahead and pour this in. Okay, and finally, we'll add our nutmeg. Mix everything in nice and good. We'll cover it up. There's two more ingredients that we're gonna need to bring this dish together. Number one, that's gonna be some carrots. And when you're getting carrots, you kinda wanna dig into the soil and release some of that that's around it. We got that, you see it kinda broke apart a little bit. Now, number two, we're gonna need some corn, all right? So the corn was actually one of the biggest challenge in the garden this year. Um, no matter how much I watered it, no matter how much I kept the moisture in there, the sun, remember that heat wave that we had over the, over the summer? That was like maybe two or so weeks ago. And I was giving the corn a lot of time and attention. And you know, it was, it was still a struggle. We're gonna get some corn and I'm gonna get this nice big one right here. All right, so we're gonna go in. Okay, so before we actually get into making the fried rice, I have a bit of a confession. This is not my corn, this is the store-bought corn. What I realized was that the way that I planted my corn, I put too much of them in the same pot and I didn't have enough depth uh, to actually make it work. So they came out premature. So uh, I had a backup just in case. I'm gonna get my rice started first. We washed our rice, we washed it until the water ran clear and I'm just gonna let it boil and cook up to uh, maybe 75 to 80% doneness. All right, because when we fry it up, it's gonna cook the rest of the way and you don't wanna get it too soft now because then it'll just turn into mush. And then we're gonna strain it and then we're gonna let it cool. I'll have, of course, the measurements for you guys in the description. All right, so our rice is done. We're gonna strain it and let it cool. And I'm gonna put it over here so that it can cool down. We're on to my favorite part, the sauce. Everything I feel needs some kind of like sauce to bring it all together. So uh, we're gonna make our very own homemade barbecue sauce. Okay, so of course, y'all know with this episode, we paying respects to my Guyanese, Chinese people them out there. And um, I gotta say one thing to y'all specifically. Now, I've been to China and I tried fried rice in China and it was great. However, I gotta tell y'all something. When y'all about them come to GT, y'all must have taste something. And y'all say, you know, nah, boy, we gotta put this in the rice. Because I promise you, nowhere in the world will you ever find a better fried rice than Guyanese Chinese fried rice. We're gonna go on with the peaches first. I've had fried rice in Brooklyn. I've had fried rice all over the place. But I just gotta say, man, y'all, I, I need y'all on my team with this one. Put a link, put a something in the comment so I can know how to make fried rice like you guys because I promise you, as great as I think this is gonna be, I don't know if I could really hold a light to you guys. But we're gonna go in here and notice when I put the peaches in here, right? I didn't put any oil at all. The reason being is cause I want this to char because that's uh, 
the caramel browning, and we're gonna get a real nice flavor from that. We're going with our tomatoes. I'm gonna go in with the butter. That smells real nice already. So we'll just start cooking everything down. We're gonna go in with a little bit of our garlic ginger oil. I want it to cook everything without browning the butter too much. And this will kind of protect the butter as it gets up in temperature. Now I'm gonna go in with some, uh, you know, the cane sugar. I like my barbecue sauce spicy. All right, so we're gonna go in with four riri pepper. I'm gonna go in with our peppers, right? Now we'll give that a nice mix so that everything can kind of start blending together. We're gonna go in with our garlic. I'm gonna have to give this secret up. This is, this is one, of my, uh, one of my personal secrets that I'm gonna share with you guys. This organic African honey, oh my goodness. This is very special. This is very special to me and this is very special to the sauce. And we're gonna add some of that honey in there. And then we're gonna go on with just a little bit of cat's rip. I'm gonna do uh, some orange zest to give it uh, some nice citrus. This is a, is a key flavor. This is a Trini ketchup from a Trini. Then people, if y'all come across this, I'm gonna add some salt. And then we'll give this a nice mix. All right, so I'm gonna take some of this. I need a little bit more salt and I need some more riri, riri right? It's not, it's not spicy like how I want it. I know once we blend everything together, it'll get more spicy because it's, it obviously needs to mix in some more, but I like the spicy even before we blend it. And I'm gonna go in with a little bit more orange zest because I'm not getting that citrus enough of it. Let's give this one more taste. Yes. Yes. So first, I'm gonna go in the pot with my green seasoning. We're gonna cook that down and try to get as much moisture as we can out of that. I'm gonna go in with the garlic ginger oil. And now I'm gonna immediately go in with my onions. And then I'm gonna go in with my bora. I'm gonna go in with some soy sauce, just to add flavor. And this will deglaze the pan just a little bit. I'm gonna go in with my corn. We're gonna go in with our chief, fried rice seasoning. I'm gonna go in with my five spice. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Maggie and a touch of Kazrit. And finally, I'm gonna go in with my rice. The reason that we toss is not so much to look fancy, but sometimes when it's getting too hot, right, and we need to cool it down, or it's getting, or we just need to incorporate some ingredients a little faster, right? We'll release it.
Okay, so I want to thank everyone for tuning in to this episode of Masters in the Making. Uh, make sure you hit that like button if you liked everything you just saw. Leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you're updated every time a new episode drops. Next episode will be dropping next week, so make sure you don't miss it. Share this video with your friends, your family, your banners, them, and you know, let them mind know what's happening over here at Key Flavors, right? So, from a Chinese people, them, from a Guyanese Chinese, right? A special thank you for all of the inspiration that you guys have brought into the Guyanese population, into my life, and into the way that I look at food and to the way that I eat. And y'all done know, right? Take a sip. Ain't got no alcohol in it because we don't drink over Aki flavors, but take a sip with me and I'll catch you guys next week. Until then, to God be the glory and stay blessed.